Hi, I'm going to make a quick video about how to bind an Orange RX into the Tarot ZYX uh, S flare barless controller. Many people have issues with it, and I can see why now. I've been at this got nearly seven hours, to be honest. I've used all sorts of different things. I've done this with the with, with Spectrum Originals also. This is a DSM2. This is a DSMX version. I've tried binding them using original uh, RXs both Orange and Spectrum RXs but I found that the best way of doing it actually is binding it using it using the, the, the tarot unit itself so we're going to prepare to get that ready ready for binding uh, and how we're going to do this is this is just a this is just a power lead 6 volts coming from an ESC which is connected to a helicopter and a motor and the reason why I've got that is so you can hear the whether the ESC is accepting the, the the signal or whether it's, whether it's complaining and that's going to be a noisy beeping in a moment but we'll have to just live with that first of all what I need to do is connect just your power lead into there brown down of course negative down into into channel one so you've got power lead into channel one we're going to power up the ESC you've got three lights here that's my ESC complaining that there's something wrong I've just got three straight lights on the tarot we're going to press the set button here once. It's going to start flashing. Now it should go red. Sometimes it goes flashing yellow. You will not connect your software if it's flashing yellow. If that happens, just press the set button again, count to two, or wait until the yellow light goes out and stays out, and then let go, and it should come back back to a red status. When it's red, press the connect button on the software. By the way, I'm using version 4 of the software here and I've got firmware version 3.5 in the fly barless controller so I'm going to press connect I'm using Bluetooth here to connect uh, but it's you could be using a, a, a USB cable it doesn't make any difference I'm connected I know the beeping is a noise in the back forgive me for that I press the setup button I'm going to press next once and this conventional receiver we're going to drop this down and we're going to select the bottom entry on, on here which is DSMX-2 we're going to select next at the bottom there I'm going to click finish and I'm going to, re I'm going to press the connect button again just because I wanted to disconnect actually just so it's ready for the next process ok nothing's really altered at this, at this side I can just disconnect that because I'm fed up with that, that noise right now we, now we need to actually bind this to our transmitter and we've got two transmitters here we've got a DX6 sorry a DX6i and the DX8 this process works with both I've tried and tested it many times it can be a bit flaky if it doesn't work first time try and try it again it doesn't always work first time strangely we're going to plug this into the rudder channel so that's the orange satellite receiver on that special cable that you that you buy buy to do this into the rudder channel we're going to get one of the cables that's supplied with the ZYX it's just a two male connectors I'm going to make sure the whites are both facing upwards and plug that into the auxiliary sorry the other one and the uh, pit elevator and auxiliary one channel so this is now set in, into bind mode so what it's telling it is going to say right I need to bind this this little unit here so if I just I don't know if I can make that go in there so, so, so we can see it flashing that's better right what we're going to do is we're going to reconnect the power and the the unit should go into bind mode a little bit a little look it is it's asking us to bind it so I'm going to turn on the DX8 into bind mode and that should start binding now the thing is to do is not rush this it's starting to bind look don't just wait for that to go orange you're waiting for those to start flashing and finish flashing so the tarot must fully reinitialize and you've got to get this to be a red stable light here if you rush this bit it doesn't work okay we've done that we can unclip the power turn off the dx8 get out of bind mode I've you, some of you professionals might have picked up that it didn't look right when I, I bound that uh, DX8 but I've rewired it inside so I've got a little switch switch on the back just, just to make this, this a little bit easier to do uh, right okay 
So now what we're going to do, we need to unplug the blind lead off the ZYX. And this is very, very important. Trust me, I've tried it lots of times. You've got to unplug the power from channel 1 and put it into the aileron port, which is where it's supposed to be for normal use. So we're now in a normal use sort of uh, sort of wiring mode now you've got you, you've got your you've got your orange RX in there plugged into the rudder channel and your power on on your aileron channel from you directly from your ESC so that's taking part of maybe your your throttle uh, port on your on your normal spectrum if if you like on your normal spectrum receiver now fingers crossed we should we should be ready to go. So if I switch on my transmitter just as, as you normally would, just like that, and we power up the ESC just as you normally would, it should go like that. We should start initialising. The orange RX has gone yellow. That's gone to red. You can hear the the ESC. It likes it likes the the, the, the signal. Now, just I know I pointed out that we had to put this power, power wire back back in the in, in the aileron port. If I'd have left that in channel one, the ESC wouldn't have initialized. So maybe that's where where some people are going wrong. Maybe that's why some people can't get it to work. Let's have a quick look look at the look at the software. So we're going to reconnect. Okay, we've got a successful connection. Hit set up. Hit next. You can see we've still got that DS. MX2. Hit next again onto the monitor screen, and if we waddle the sticks about, we can see that we are getting uh, responses in there. And if I lift up, you can hear the motor going. And that to me looks like it's successful. If that doesn't work, just keep 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 going around the process again. I've got a few little niggles. Once it didn't it didn't uh, bind correctly to this, and it, the, the the tablet device wouldn't initialize even though this 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 picked up the signal. I had to just go around the process again, uh, and and then then it worked. But if it doesn't work, go right back to the beginning and start the process again. Otherwise, you just get yourself all in knots, and you sometimes end up with a with a yellow flashing light here. Incidentally, if you do, the workaround is you plug your power into channel one, power it up. And then press reset until it flashes, and if it comes back, uh, you're flashing yellow again. You press it for a good two seconds, the yellow light will go out. When you let go, it'll come back red. Even if it's red or blue, it doesn't really matter. The software will connect once once it's red or blue. But if you if you've got a flashing yellow, the software will not connect. Right, guys, uh, I think that's it. Like I say, I've tried this with the, with the DX six uh, I as well. That all seems to work. So thank you for watching. Have any problems? Contact us on the uh, on, on the RC Groups ZYX Tarot forum. Thanks a lot. Bye.